Right then, got over the gate. There's the aerials. This is the field. It takes me right down there. I've got no idea if there's cows further down. I'm just going to home in. Thought I saw some dark shapes. Wait a minute. No, nothing. Some cows will hide. Well, not hide. They go in the shade. They're mammals. Right, there's a track going along there. There's a actual gate there, a stile. But a lot of people follow this way. Straight down and then cross. So that's what I'm going to do. Wet grass again. I was going to look at the time, wasn't I? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, everyone? Three o'clock? Do you think we got here for three? That was the plan. 2.56. Pretty good, Sheila. Pretty good. All you've got to do now, still enjoy the walk. We've got three hours exactly. And from here, I should be able to get back to... I don't know if I'll get back in time for an ice cream. They shut everything early in, in uh, Cheddar. You'll be lucky to get an ice cream and a cold drink. You really will be lucky. Uh, the, all the main ice cream sh shops shut. Um, the chip shop opens at four. You can probably get a cold drink in there if you wanted. Right, I'm heading straight down there then over down that way. <sighs> Not a cow in sight. I've, I've risked walking through these fields when there's been cows and I've kept a low profile. That's why I tend to use this field. Because there are some get out places. There are some get out places. Yeah. I thought I felt a bite on my back, so I've probably been got at either by a um, a horsefly or a tick. It's possible. Ticks are very sneaky. They anaesthetise your skin a little bit, so you don't feel it at the time. But look how lovely this is. Look, look at me. I'm in the middle of this field, surrounded by beauty. This is where they come for the magic mushrooms, by the way, as well. Not this time of year. I'm not sure when they grow, but I've seen them. I've seen the people out here picking them. I just meander down here, across anywhere down here now. The lower you can get, the better, really. She don't want you just cross a bit lower down. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? No, go down there, go down there. I love um, video me going. I hope all these videos are going to turn out. But look at the scene, everyone. I'm going to turn off, take a picture. Off we go again. So, right diagonal over there is the gate. Came through that gate, wandered across the field. Crossed just down there. There's another gate there if you need it. There's the aerials. And here's a well-defined path used by many walkers. Now there's still another field. There's still several fields actually, but this one here is what I call a kettled field. It's got a massive cow watering tank in it. And it's not... I mean, if I had to, I'd have to get across the stream and into another field. Um, which I don't know if there's cows in that. But so far I've been, I have been fortunate so far that I've not come across cows when I've done that field. But um, I'm just wondering if uh, farmers are starting to give up on fields, uh, on, on cows. It's to do with global warming I think and the, all the, the methane. Cows could become a rare species, couldn't they, if you think about it? And if people all have to give up milk and don't eat meat and all that. What 
a lovely day yes. though, isn't it? Surrounded by beauty. It's just so moving. Is that two people or is that a tree? Could be a tree. Just looked like two people, didn't it? Arm in arm. I suspect my sister Jude's been up there, she must have. Yeah, every now and again she when I'm walking I think of her. But she was a walker. Just like me, a walker. She loved the hell. She was out in them all the time. So if I can, I'm cut from up here I should be able to see if there's any cows in the fields over there. Because what I want to do really, I don't want to go through Longwood today. It takes me longer actually walking through Longwood. Um, and I actually wanted to have a look to see. I hadn't actually been round in the fields for, I haven't done that for a couple of years I don't think. What a lovely scene. Fancy just being out here. Look at it. It's fantastic. Over and out. Fantastic. Yeah, I've really enjoyed this walk. Beautiful, beautiful walk. Really beautiful. I'm thinking of my sister Jude at this moment. And I think of my kids. I think of Georgia who likes walking. Um, yes. The thing is, I've always liked the countryside. And when I could, I used to take my kids out in the countryside. But small children can't um, go too far or anything. But it wasn't really until I retired that I started to do these very long walks. Right, walking down to the field. Just got over that stile there. You wonder when they've got those red dots on if they're going to chop that down. Is that one of those ash diebacks? Could be, couldn't it? Right, no cows again. We've been fortunate. Can't see any cows anywhere actually and I didn't from up high. But like I said, they don't always sit out in the middle and of a field, they often shelter. Those of you who know my walks will know this. It gets done a couple times of a year. Um, sometimes I do it in reverse and come up this way. But um, I'm doing probably more over the Cheddar Way doing things in reverse and that because um, I haven't got a vehicle, I can't get out anywhere else. Uh, not really, not without having to go on trains and buses. I do, I have got a couple of day trips. Hopefully I can get away. I want to go down to Totnes for the day. That's a train journey. But I've, my ticket's expired. I mean, to be quite honest, I reckon they should have given me a refund really on my card. Uh, last year because um, I couldn't use it for a lot of the time. It was re it was restrictions. So I reckon really they should give me at least half the m my money back. So I've got to pay £30 and then I've still got to pay for the fare. So I do want it. I've really wanted to try and get down there July or August at the latest down to um, Totnes. Get an early train, sort of, you know, like, um, I don't know, six o'clock in the morning. Get down there, have some breakfast, go for a walk around, go in the castle, go and see the guild hall, and walk up to the old farm where I used to live in the cottage, have a little wander, then wander back and uh, have something else to eat, and then um, get on the train back to Weston. I've done it before, but not for nine years. I haven't been down there for nine years, Dr. Ness. Oh, look at that lovely scene. Look. Just about make the aerials out up there. Today was the day of no rain. 
the other days so apparently there's a low pressure pushing in from this evening hanging around for Friday and Saturday apparently um, look, still looks unsettled we haven't had a really long spell of summer really you know where it's consistent I mean I, I couldn't have planned going camping or walking on the coastal paths no way not reliable enough we get caught out in the tent in a storm for days on end oh, can you get up there yet? Ah, just about oh, put that there that's, I think that's easier that way Bye, lovely fields. I'm on my way back via the Longwood area, even if I'm skirting it, and then several fields, then down, and I have to go down the gorge. Probably the gentle way, I think. And I'm just getting hungry now. I'm looking forward to being able to eat my cheese and tomato but I probably won't do that until I've got up the Longwood wibbly wobbly path because I'll get total indigestion if I walk on after having cheese going especially going uphill it's all right on the flat I haven't because the thing is I'm videoing and doing photos constantly so I rarely get time I rarely get time to eat. And here we are. Here's some of the water that will run down into the river at. Then it will make its way to uphill and then go out to sea. There must be a period where salty water and marsh water all sort of mix. Yeah. So, this is pretty in the spring. I've been here, I think, when the bluebells were out. What I do, I keep a log book as well so that I've got some idea what I've done and all my videos are stored in years and months and they'll probably end up in a skip some one day nobody will want them but I put them online so you know they, they should hopefully be there for a long time unless that company goes bust or something it's a way of sharing stuff. It's brilliant, really, the internet. As soon as it came out, I said, this is a library in your home. You know, I've been for it from the beginning. I really have. Of course, you're going to get people who abuse it. Weirdos and that. Unfortunately. Now, in a minute, I'm going to have to have me yoghurt bar because I can feel a slight glucose low. The only thing I've eaten... I've had two sweets and I've had one bar of chocolate and that's all I've had all day since about half past seven this morning. Oh, I had a plum. That's right, I had a plum. I'll wait till I'm in the field and I'll make my yoghurt bar and then when I have get up the top of the wibbly wobbly lane I'll uh, have my cheese and tomato. Yeah. Not easy to get over this, you know. 
not about my age because I can't lift my hips up like I used to. And you're gonna have to lean over on that pole, grab your trouser and lift it over. So you try not to catch your trouser and then lift it up. I can get cramp, you see, I can get cramp. You can't do it that way. If I suddenly do a strange movement with my leg, it'll go into cramp. Right. A little bit of shade. For five minutes, we just take the hat off. So five minutes. Because the hat sort of makes you hot, but it protects you from the sun big time. But it does make you hot. This bit's always muddy. This bit here. It's always squelchy. It's very damp here, you see. It's very dark. And I'll be out in the air in a minute. I'll have to have my hat on. I had to find all these places myself, you know. Go and Google help sometimes to see where a route comes out. Always in the beginning, I sort of did a bit of plotting. So when I knew roughly the area, that's when I would explore different routes. I keep going, but I know I'm not as strong as I was when I was younger, even 10 years ago. I know that. I know I'm not as strong. Just make sure there's no ticks in your hat, you see. You don't want a tick in your hair. Now, I'm going to be exposed, so I need to put my hat on. And this is, look at all this. They don't want us out here, you know, farmers. They don't want us out here. They're making it really hard for us to get up and out over these stiles. This is the second really bad style I've come across today. Really is bad. Right, plan A. You go straight across. There's Longwood. There's a broken stile. It must be a lot harder getting down it, I think. Alright, so we're not going we're not going in Longwood. There's a cow drinking tank. So we'll look out for cow pack. Looks very, very cut. So I would imagine they wouldn't be putting cows out till this has grown a bit. But they might have them in the other field. If they're in the other field, then I will have to go into Longwood. But I really just want to walk out here today out in the open. There's a lovely breeze. And over there we've got the area of outstanding beauty now, fading in the distance. There's a... Um, um, do it up properly. Just trying to get my hat on. Over there, there is a, another sign. I've never done that route. I've never done that route. That'll take you to rail at bottom, I think. When they do have cows out here, they have really big herds. Really big herds. But it was the first time last year I'd noticed cows in the other field I'm going in. As you can see, there's no real pathway. Could be over there a bit. Could be over here a bit. Let's have a look. Coming up from the stile. Yeah, it could be here. There's a bit of faint. There's various humps and bumps here. That could be to do with mining. Oh, I thought I saw a tractor then. Could be bringing the cows out, couldn't they? Or bringing them in. 
Yeah, various humps and bumps there. Where's the style gone? It's over there, I think. I think it's there, or is it there? That's the farm, but I don't know if there's cows over here. I'd have to go down there. Um, I'd have to make my way down over there if uh, there's a sign of cows. <sighs> I'm just trying to see the style. I think it's straight in front. Let's zoom in. <sighs> yeah, there's a style. Look. I've seen a tractor. He's whizzing around the edge of the field at the moment. I don't know if his cows are there. They could be sheltering by the trees, you see. Yeah, there must be a way. There must be a way. Over there somewhere. Yeah, dog farmer. I so said I don't know if there's cows in that field. I've got no idea. That's pointing sort of over that way. I'm not sure if there's cows there, because they could be hiding by the trees. Wonder why he went over there. Oh, went over there. I'll soon find out. We'll soon find out. If I see one sign of cow pack, I mean, look, that's old cow pack. He's going back now, so I've got no idea if there's cows here. I don't know why he went over there. I can sort of hear cows. There's the aerials up there, look. The aerials, mend up aerials. So get your te telephone, television signal from them. That's what they are. I don't know, he stopped. Maybe he's going to see if I'm going in this field. Fresh cow pack. Look. Fresh cow pack. Fresh cow pack. I wonder if they are in here. Look. Cows are about. They've probably gone in to be milked. He's waiting to see what I'm doing, I think. <sighs> you could have let them in through that gate over there, look. There's a gate there. Right, over and out, folks. This is fresh cow pack there.